Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the UI selectable states. So these are the states a selectable can have. It can have normal state. So this is the idle state, right? A highlighted state. So when the pointer uh, hovers over that uh, element, it will, it will have the highlighted state, the selected state. And this is when the event system deems an um, element as being selected. Only one item can be selected at any given point in time. The press state, so when your uh, pointer uh, is down on the, um, so when you when you perform a click or you, you keep the pointer down on that particular element, then the press state will be enabled, will be set. And finally, disabled state, uh, when an element is non-interactable, so you can no longer interact with it. These states are, every UI, UI selectable uh, will be in one of these states. And let's dive right in so I can show you what you can do these, with uh, these states. Let's select a, uh, let's create a simple, simple button. Uh, let me show you one of these buttons. And then we, we're gonna uh, customize it and I'm gonna show you how this uh, works, works exactly. Let's see the event system. Let's use the new input system. All right, perfect. So let's change the resolution so that you can see this better. Perfect. So now when I enter play mode, as you can see here, we have these states. So normal, highlighted, pressed, selected, and disabled, all right? So these are the states that uh, a button can be in. Let's enter play mode. And you will see that automatically uh, one of these states will be uh, enabled, right? So usually it's normal. So let's go highlighted, pressed. Yeah, so my, my, my finger is on the mouse right now, all right? So pressed, all right? And then um, because this uh, button has deselect after press, I'm gonna disable this. So now it will be selected. And if I remove the interactable uh, component, it will be disabled. There you go. So that's how the selected state works. Now you've seen animations and color changes and whatnot. And this is because the UI manager has several components that listen for these states. And these are UI selectable and something else, animator, color animator, uh, UI animator, float animator. So you can change different things. And let me show you. So let's create a, uh, oh, uh, do I have play mode enabled? Project settings, editor, yeah, it's enabled. All right, so let's create, I don't know, an, an image so that we can, uh, we can see what is happening. Let's move it up a bit. All right. So this will be my uh, my image that I would like to to be able to perform some some things with it. All right. So let's put it up a bit. And in order to find these uh, options for the UI selectable, the most easiest way to do that is say UI selectable. And here you have a lot of things that uh, are controlled by a UI selectable. A UI selectable can be a button, a toggle, a slider, a tab. Uh, I don't know that all, 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 all these components that are interactable um, will have a will be uh, derived from the UI selectable. So you will be able to do things with them. So let's say a color animator. All right. So uh, let's put this a let's say a red color. All right. Uh, yeah. So let's set a normal color. For example, the normal color. Let's let's leave it at white. Okay, when it's highlighted, let's select a different color and let's make it, uh, I don't know, a, uh, a blue, bluish color. So basically something like that, All right? When it's pressed, let's uh, use uh, the same color. Let's use a not current value, custom value. Let's use this color and let's make it a bit darker, something like that. And selected, let's go with a... Uh, green again let's go with this highlighted color and let's just move the hue value so it looks nice 
And for the disabled, uh, let's go with uh, a red color. Just so we know. Again, I'm going to use the hue so it looks nice. So something like that. All right. So basically now I, I have my normal highlighted, pressed, selected and disabled states. I can also preview them right here. All right. And right now, this, uh, this animation doesn't have a controller. As you can see here, controller, none. So when I'll enter play mode, uh, nothing will happen um, because this, this doesn't have a controller. Now, if I set the flex button as the, the controller, not in play mode, it should be set beforehand. Let's just set it here, all right? And now you will see that I can control the animation for this particular, let's, uh, this is pressed. And now uh, let's enable selection. I forgot to do that. And let's, so, so we can see the, the selected state, all right? The select after press. And let's go like that. There you go. And if I disable this button, it will be red. All right. So let's have, let's, let's see a few more buttons that use this. So let's, let's say this indicator. Let's create a uh, empty game object. I'm going to say button container. I'm going to say a horizontal layout group. Let's say indicator uh 24 24 maybe a bit bigger 48 48 for this particular uh, layout element preferred with 48 48 i'm just making uh let's put this here and like so and let's say content size fitter preferred size preferred size i'm just putting this here just so we can group them a bit uh, middle left, let's add some spacing. All right, so now I have this button container. There you go. So I would like, let's increase the, let's say 24 here. All right, so I would like to see how different buttons behave. So I'm going to create a, uh, so doozy, let's say UI, layouts, not layouts, uh, what do I want? Layouts, let's say a vertical layout. And let me just say here content size fitter, preferred size, preferred size. All right, so let's add this button here. I'm just going to say button one. Let's duplicate this a few times. Let's say two, three, and four. All right. Let's add some spacing, let's say 24, maybe 32, something like that. All right, so now I have these buttons, all right? Let's enter play mode. And you will see that I can now uh, interact with them and add different uh, settings. Let's also use the keyboard, so I can also do, do this, all right? And let's disable button four. And let's go here and say this is no longer interactable. And there you go. We can no longer select it. All right. So this is how you use the UI selectable states. At any given point in time, only one um, selectable can be in the selected state. And who decides that? Well, the event system. So let's enter play mode. And let me show you. So here, the event system, this is the Unity I don't think we can see it here. Oh, for selected, let's see properties. Let's see debug. And here we can see current selected. All right. So basically, this is the object that will be in the selected state. And there can be only one at any given point in time. All right. So let me put this here so you can see how this works. So this is how the Unity UI, the Unity event system actually works, all right? So right now, this is the highlighted state, as you can see from the blue. But if I'm going to click it, it's going to become selected. And I'm also even, even going to rename them so it's easier for us to see. And say flex button one, flex button two, 
flex button three, flex button four. And let's also change the text so it's easier. Label. Let me just move this away. Let's say one, two, three, and four. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the hearts for now. <laughs> All right. So let me show you. I'm trying to explain to you how this actually works because a lot of people seem to uh, confuse the selectable state with a, an on off state for a uh, tab or a toggle, right? And these are different things. So let's enter play mode. So right now, there isn't any selected uh, game object. The moment I select, let's say, number two, I'm going to click it. Now it's current selected. And if I'm going to click three, again, this will change. And if I'm going to click anywhere outside, because I have this option in the event system called where is it? It should be the navigation events. Yeah, it's it's a setting that says whenever you click on the background, I think it's in the in the in the settings, in the input settings. It's gonna deselect this. So I'm gonna click here and now nothing is selected. All right. So there you go. This is how it works. So if you want to have to, to show that something is selected but not selected in the event system, you should use a, a UI, uh, UI toggle and use the on off states. This is for tabs, right? So do not confuse it with the on off states. This is a different video that I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain how that works. All right, what else can you do with uh, this system? Well, you can add sounds, you can add animations. So let's say for this uh, indicator, Zoom in here. Uh, I like that I have a color animation, but I would also like to have, do I have any sounds here? I think I do. Let's say UI selectable audio, all right? And here I need to add an audio source. If uh, you use Soundy or Master Audio, you have UI selectable Soundy audio or Master Audio, M Master Audio, all right? And for each state, you can set a uh, sound. So let's say for the highlighted, do I have any sounds? Simple swish. All right. And for press, let's say simple swish door two. All right. For this example. And do I have a controller? No. Well, let me click this button. So now I've just added some sounds to the first button. And you will hear it right now. So, can you hear it or is it not enabled? I cannot hear it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't set an audio source. So, let's set that. There you go. And of course, we can duplicate this. So, if I say button one, let's just duplicate this button uh, because I do not want to. Uh, let's just say three, one, two, three, four, yeah, something like that. So now I have sounds for this. Oh, again, I forgot to put the uh, audio source. Jesus. So let's come here and let's say indicator and let's just say this audio source. I'm just doing this very fast because I want to show you how this works. Again, I forgot to duplicate this. Um, all right, so there you go, that's it. Let's say I also want to add some animation or whatever. Let's just work on the first one. Let's zoom in here. And let's say I want to add a, a UI selectable, what do I want? A UI animator. Yeah, let's go for your animator. And by default, it will have, uh, let's go with, let's say the controller. Does it have any animations? So let's say, uh, yeah, this should, should be reset. Scale should go to offset, let's say um, 1.2, 1.2. 
highlighted. Actually, let's make it smaller. Going to this is an offset. So let's make it bigger. Let's say the pressed uh, the press state will be. Um, oh, Jesus! I'm just messing with animations right now. Just some basic settings. Say minus two, minus two. All right. So press would be smaller. And selected. Uh, let's go. Selected will be. Uh, let's go here. Let's make a uh, rotation. Let's disable scale. Let's enable rotation. And let's say on Z, let's say 45 degrees. All right. So let's see it. Uh, selected something like that. Normal. All right. And for the disabled state, we already have something and I'm not going to mess with it. So to custom value 0.6. So disable it something like that. And let's also make it smaller. Minus 0.4, minus 0.4. So even smaller. All right. And let's go to rotation, no rotation, move, no movement. All right. Normal. So right now I just added animations for this indicator. Let's duplicate this several times. And now I have a lot of uh, animations available, as you can see. And if it's selected, it's going to be like that. There you go. So as you can see, no code and it's very easy. Just remember, there can only be one selected thing at any given point in time in a UI. If you want to show that something is selected, you need to use a UI uh, toggle. And in that case, you wouldn't be using UI uh, selectable for the components. So uh, here in the, in the on the indicator for this example, I used UI selectable color animator, UI selectable audio, all right? UI selectable UI animator. So I've been searching for UI selectable in, in case I want, to, to target the on off states and say UI toggle. And here I have uh, animations that target the UI toggle. Um, so things that use a UI toggle as a controller. And this will be uh, in another video. All right. So that's it for the UI selectable states. All right. Normal, highlighted, pressed, selected, and disabled. All right. Thank you very much, and I'm going to see you in the next video.